we can understand the ranking that we're going to assign to this hand by the way a poker player would call out his hand when asked to reveal it. So our player declares straight flush, jack high. That's all you have to know about the hand. A straight flush, the, the highest ranking, and then the tiebreaker, all we have to know is that uh, the jack is the high card. So the number 8 stands for straight flush, and the number 11 stands for jack, and that completely describes the hand. Here's another hand. Let's see what, what our player would declare for this hand. Four aces and a queen kicker. And so four aces is the uh, major rank, which is a seven. An ace is rank, card rank number 14, and the queen is card rank number 12. And so that's the complete description of the hand, seven, 14, 12. Let's do another one. What's this hand? It's a full house, eights over kings. So even though a king is higher than the eight, the eight is what counts uh, more importantly because there's three of them. So a full house is uh, major ranking number six, then the eight because it's three of them, and then the king, which is 13, that's the remaining card. And that three element tuple completely describes this hand. Here's another hand. How do we declare this one? So our, our player has called flush 10-8, describing the two highest cards in his hand, because that's usually enough to uh, distinguish the hand from all other flushes that might be out there. But in actuality, we might need all the hands to break the ties. Now, a flush is ranked number five, and in order to break the ties, we look at all the cards in the hand, highest first and, and working all the way down. So something in there should be able to break the tie, although it, it certainly is possible, although unlikely, that somebody else has those five exact cards in another suit, and then it actually would be a tie. There would be no tiebreaker. Let's look at this hand. Our player describes uh, straight jack high. That's all he needs to say, because if it's a straight, if you know jack is the high card, then you know the other cards have to be 10, 9, 8, 7. So we only need two numbers to describe this. 4 meaning straight, and then an 11 meaning jack. Next hand, three sevens. Usually that's enough to disambiguate a hand, uh, but if we really need to break the ties, then we would look at the next uh, highest ranking card next, the five, and then finally the two. So to describe the hand, we have the rank number, for, which is three, then the sevens, and then the complete list of the five cards. Next hand, two pairs, jacks and threes. And th that describes most of the hand, but we also need to, to compare all the cards, in including the two pairs. But it's the highest ranking pair first. So first, uh, the two, meaning two pairs. Then the 11 for the jack, the highest of the two pairs. Then the three for the threes. And now we need the final card, and, uh, but uh, I happen to have all the ranks standing around, so I use that. As a, as a stand-in for the final card. Either way, that fifth card can completely disambiguate the hands if you happen to tie on the jacks and the threes. And here our player declares pair of twos, jack high. That partially describes the hand. Notice we've lost the exclamation point. He's not so excited about his hand this time. So a pair of twos, that's down to ranking number one. Then the pair of twos is the first tiebreaker, and then all the cards in the hand. Our final hand, and our poor player declares, I got nothing. Now he's really crying, but sometimes nobody else has anything either, and then we still have to decide among the players who have nothing who wins, and we just go in order of the ranks of the cards. So nothing is zero, and then the ranks of the cards from highest to lowest. 